Hey guys, we just got done prepping this 20 by 30 area. There it is. Uh, plastic rebar down and we got the four drain in. Um, the reason we left this out is because he wants this all to be sloped for washing vehicles off in the snow and stuff. Um, so we separated this out and we're gonna pour it tomorrow. We had to work today, unfortunately, um, due to with all the weather we have and coming. So we're working today. Um, don't look like we're gonna be working Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, possibly Friday now. Um, but let me turn the camera around. All right, we got the vapor barrier down, rebar, two foot on center. We got the five by three drain in the middle is draining out right back this way. You can see the pipe there. Um, we got the expansion joint in because when you're pouring two slabs next to each other you need a, a joint expansion joint in here for expansion contraction and then our rebar we drilled all our rebar every single one of them into the existing concrete we poured last week All right, we just got done power troweling. Um, it's 4.05, we didn't have to stay here until two o'clock in the morning this time, thank goodness. Um, but here it is. All right, there we go. We got a nice shine to it. It all slopes one inch down to right here. We're getting ready to cover it with insulation because it's gonna get, it's gonna get cold here in the next couple days. The reason we insulate it is to trap the heat that's being generated by the concrete because um, if it freezes it could chip and it just causes a huge issue.